another new twist in the case of U.S. President Donald Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen. The Associated Press reports that the National Enquirer kept a safe with documents on hush money payments in exchange for other damaging stories it killed as part of its relationship with Donald Trump leading up to the election in 2016. Federal prosecutors have granted immunity to National Enquirer chief and longtime friend David Pecker. With more on this, we're joined by CTV's Melanie Nagy. She's in Washington for us. Melanie, another ally turning on Donald Trump. What could Pecker's immunity mean for the president? And before we get into what Pecker's immunity means, I first have to tell you, before coming in here, a bit of breaking news coming across the wires, another immunity granted, this one to Alan Weaselberg, basically the longtime financial gatekeeper for Trump and the Trump Organization. So another immunity offered by federal prosecutors and why this one's really interesting to watch if you think about it. This is the CFO for the organization hands on the money, knows where it went. And a lot of times when it comes to uh, policing, they say that you have to follow the money. And uh, now we know that Alan we Weaselberg has been granted immunity. Now back to uh, the Pecker uh, situation that you mentioned. Really interesting to watch because in this, the federal prosecutors have granted him immunity in connection for giving uh, testimony regarding Michael Cohen, providing information on the hush money deals. And why that is important to watch is that if there was a crime linked to Trump, an alleged crime, Pecker could provide evidence in that or could provide testimony against somebody else within the Trump organization or within the presidential uh, election campaign. So really interesting to watch and to follow what it could mean for the president. Yeah, everybody wants to know what's inside that safe. Of course, the Inquirer had that uh, deal with Michael Cohen, that whole catch and kill thing. Once they caught wind of a story, they paid someone off like they tried to do with Karen McDougal, uh, the Playboy Playmate, and then keep those stories uh, under wraps. So this has been a really tough week for the president, Melanie. Mm -hmm. Now he's in a feud with his attorney general once again. And for the first time, his attorney general is pushing back. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting to watch this, this, this public back and forth between the president and Jeff Sessions. And Sessions, it, it's not new that, the Trump, uh, that Trump has been critical of his attorney general. We know that Trump has been and expressed repeated frustration over the attorney general's decision to recuse himself from the Russian investigation. But this time what Trump did during an interview was say that Sessions has to take control um, of his department, that he's lost control. Well, in that, in a rare move, Sessions issued a public statement, and he really hasn't pushed back a lot on the president before, but in this public statement, he said, while I am attorney general, the actions of the Department of Justice will not be improperly influenced by political consideration. So there you have Sessions pushing back, and then today, Trump took to Twitter, as he often likes to do, and he responded in uh, Twitter, basically calling on Jeff Sessions, saying, hey, Jeff, this is great, what everyone wants to hear, but why don't you look into the so-called corruption, or the corruption, rather, he says, on the other side. So trying to um, use Twitter to enc encourage Sessions to investigate his opponents. So what a dramatic week it has been. And we know that there doesn't appear to be any sign that the drama is going to end anytime soon. No, not, not by a long shot. Melanie and A.G., thanks for that.